it is the cross sectional model of two stroke diesel engine moving to new different parts of the two stroke diesel engine this one is the cylinder this one is the piston this one is connecting rod this one is a crank and the crank is placed on the crank shaft and the crank is a placed inside the crank case here this one is the fuel injector and here we will find three ports are there this one is the inlet port this one is the exhaust port this one is the transfer port or bypass port so this this uh, connects the lower portion the po crank case portion to the upper part of the piston and the cylinder portion now this one is the fins used to cool the engine this one is the flywheel and moving to see the dead centers here we can see when the piston travels from lower portion to upper portion lower most portion to upper most portion it means it travels from in between two dead centers so when it travels in between two dead center either from top dead center to bottom dead center or bottom dead center to top dead center this is known as stroke and the length of this stroke is not the stroke length actually and here when it is at the top dead center when the piston is at top dead center this volume is known as clearance volume and when it is at the bottom dead center this volume is known as total volume and the total volume minus clearance volume is known as swept volume it means the volume over which the piston travels from bdc to tdc or tdc to bdc is known as swept volume so total volume is equal to swept volume plus clearance volume so if we we'll go to the construction of a diesel engine it is similar to the two stroke petrol engine only changes in place of spark plug we use fuel injector and as well as in place of carburetor we use fuel pump in this engine only air is supplied into the crankcase and fuel by the fuel injector as you know that in two stroke four process complete at one revolution so now we will move for the first stroke so in the first stroke the piston is at top dead center so the piston will move from top dead center to bottom dead center at top dead center piston is at highest point of compression so it will be ignited by self when the injector will inject fine spray of diesel so due to ignition combustion will occur and pressure is exerted on the piston head by the combustion of air and it is pushed downward direction the piston perform the power stroke till it uncover the exhaust port the burnt gases will come out of from the exhaust port due to difference of the pressure so when the piston will reach bottom dead center it will uncover the transfer port so the air will flow from crankcase into the cylinder which will also push uh, out the burnt gases which called as scavenging so both power stroke and exhaust stroke occurs in the first stroke so now we will move for the uh, second stroke the at the second stroke the piston is at bottom dead center so the piston will move from bottom dead center to top dead center when piston um, will move upward it will close to it will close the transfer port as well as the exhaust port thus the compress the air in the cylinder so once piston reaches the top dead center the stroke completes so it completes the suction and compression process in one stroke thank you